My name's Rich Harrington. I'm the publisher of PhotoFocus, and I want to show you how powerful the new mask workflow is inside of Photoshop and Lightroom. Now, you'll find the new mask tools here under this little dashed circle, and it really does quite a bit. Let's do a simple one here with Select Sky. This allows us to totally choose the sky and make a basic selection. Now, the challenge with this, though, is it's all of the sky. And normally, we want a gradation. So I'm going to choose Subtract Linear Gradient. And now, I can draw a gradient from the bottom of the image. And you see we get a nice graduated ND filter type approach, creating a blended transition as we move downward in the frame, which is cool. Now, this allows me to dial this in and just roll this a little, adding some temperature and shift to really bring that sky out. I love how that's coming to life, and we can play here with clarity and texture to really add to the sky. If we toggle that off and on, you see that's a hugely useful adjustment, but the only challenge here is that the highlights are getting crushed a little bit, so I'm gonna actually pop the white point. And remember, the histogram is interactive, so you can just come in here and drag and move these pieces around as needed to really massage that and get the right point that you need. There we go, a little bit more drop on the shadow. That looks great. Now we've got that, let's rename it and call that sky. Perfect. Now we're gonna add another one and just choose select subject. This will analyze the image and try to find the foreground. In this case, it latched in on the rocks, which was useful. Let's call this mountain. And what I want to do is bring this to life. I'm going to uncheck Show Overlay, and we're just going to dial this in, warming up the mountain a bit, and zooming in so we can see the texture. And by adding some sharpness, a little bit of noise reduction, and some clarity here, look at how we can bring that mountain to life to really bring out the rocky texture. And I'm just going to drop the saturation slightly and roll the color temperature here just a tad redder to bring out those rocks. Well, that's working quite nicely. Now let's go a step further. Create new mask. In this case, we'll do color range. This allows us to choose a range of colors. So I can click to select the green vegetation, shift click to select another range. That works out nicely. And you'll notice here, you can also subtract. So if I subtract color range, this allows me to remove an area like the actual mountain there, which worked out nicely, creating just really the trees and vegetation. Now, I like that. And what I'm going to do here is actually create an intersect the mask, and I'll tell it to intersect and really further refine this here. Let's intersect it with the subject. There we go. And you see that it starts to create that combo. And now we have those two working together. But we can take that and invert it. Now it selected the trees, but ignored the mountain, which is perfect. That intersection was quite powerful. And if needed, we can start to look at the colors that are sampled down here and really refine as we want to select broader areas. That's quite nice. Let's rename that vegetation. And the key is to use these together. Cool. And with that targeted, we can scroll down and really refine that. I'm going to darken those trees a bit, play with the contrast, and then refine the black point. Now those blue pixels are indicating crushed pixels. So you may want to be careful there as you move that around. You can leave that crushing indicator on to really judge what's happening as you make those refinements. And you might find that you need to lift the black point ever so slightly if you're overdoing it. We can roll the tint there to bring out the greens a bit more. Now it's really lush for a desert, but we can split the difference there, a little green and gold to emphasize the type of vegetation you'd usually find out in the desert. I like it. Now what I wanna do is add another gradient mask. So I'm going to create a new linear gradient here, and this time go across the foreground. There we go. And that starts to select the foreground of the object here, 
and we'll just darken that down a little. I'm going to uncheck the clipping, and I like that. Notice how we can really finesse the light going across the surface. Now we push that too far, but that was just so you can see it. And this will allow us to further play with the light as it moves across, making small changes in the object. All right, that's working quite nicely, and we're really able to bring that to life. Remember, by using multiple masks, you can target precise areas. Let's just name this gradient. Perfect. And really evaluate. There's the sky. That was effective. A targeted adjustment on the mountain, which worked nicely. The vegetation. And while subtle, I like what that's doing to the trees. And then a gentle gradient across the top to pull down that overexposed area that was pulling the eye away from the mountain here. All right, I really like that. Now let's finesse this here. Taking a look from the top, I'm gonna to jump into our effects and open up these profiles. You'll find different simple options here like landscape, portrait, and these are very universal. Or you can come down to camera matching and this will actually let you match the camera profile that your camera recommends. In this case, that really brought those landscape colors to life but you can play with these until you find ones that work for you. And if that's too over the top, remember, some of these can actually be used a little bit more creatively. So here are some of our film stocks, which I actually prefer. And what you're gonna notice with these film stocks is that you can finesse them a bit more. So I like that, that's more global and really brought that to life. And I think that that was quite effective on this particular image. Now, in this case, if we take a look at the image here and we do the side by side, I really like the transformation. While it's been subtle, you notice that the targeted adjustments really let us refine the different areas to bring this image from having challenging lighting to significantly better color grading. 